Welcome to the video. This project shows one way to decorate the retro stove kit that I purchased from Bentley House Minis while attending the Dallas Miniature Showcase this year. The stove measures approximately five and a half by four by two inches. Materials and kit information listed below this video. The kit comes with printed directions, parts, and many suggestions to assemble a vintage 112th miniature stove. There's also a great video to coordinate with the written directions at the BentleyHouseMiniatures.com kit videos on YouTube. There are five opening doors. The top warming door opens from the bottom. A small oven with my pie, another warming oven, and the large oven with my orange baking pan open from the top. The fifth smaller door slides open to hold my extra pans. The doors close with magnets and pin nails included in the kit. The hinges are fabric and cardstock. The large oven easily fits purchased cookie sheets and roasting pans too. I remove the kettles showing the stove top has not been glued so that I can remove and change the backsplash as needed. I will show my decorating accessory ideas toward the end of the video. It was easy to add six drilled holes to the back piece labeled C after step 20, image 8 on the written directions three for the vent hood top, one for the burners, and one for each of the two ovens, so that chip LEDs can be added, two millimeter to four millimeters, depending on LEDs. Mine will also be on a switch as shown. Until the stove is permanently displayed, I've added silver scrapbook circles around the drilled LED holes. I mixed metal bits from snap fasteners and various pieces to give the burner tray lid look, placed under the stove top. At step 50, image 25 during the assembly, I replaced the kit handles with toothpicks, eye pins, and clear seed beads. Cut four toothpicks one inches and one one and three quarters inch. Paint when dry, glue eye pins to the ends, add beads for a spacer, drill holes over the cardstock doors except top warmer door, drill below, clip excess pin length, glue, leave doors open while drying. On the stove top, I had cut out the two center circles. Then I colored six grates with a black permanent marker. So I didn't double the grates at step 49, image 24. Then I angled each of the ends a bit before I glued to the stove top. I used two millimeter disc beads for the knobs with flat straight pin through it, glued, clipped excess pin length, painted a diagonal dial on the bead tops. Also added another bead to the side off the small oven with a small circle paper punch underneath. At step 52, I like the suggestion to add wire to the oven racks for strength, so I cut a jumbo paper clip with ridge marks or the non-skid type for each rack size and super glued it to the front edge. I added oven windows for the pieces T and W and the corresponding cardstock parts in steps 45 and 48. I cut holes through the oven door, the large oven 1 and 3 8 by 3 8 and the small oven 5 8 by 5 8 then plastic or acetate pieces in the same sizes and glued in place. Another idea is to trim the doors and the stove with silver stickers, then seal. I added backsplash changeable 2 and 3 8 by 2 and 3 8 inch pieces from cardstock embossed paper painted cream, and a tile press design with the shelf. There are just so many choices. In order to do this, I had to remove step 39 and pieces J through K. I also omitted step 53, the gas pipe on the side, because it will not be seen where I plan to display. However, I can always add it at a later date. You can accessorize the stove with handmade or purchased pans and pies. I made a kitchen towel with a one by one and a half inch fabric piece, folded the sides to the back and glued painted stripes on the bottom with acrylic paint, reduced a mini saying, cut it out, glued to the towel front, and then I folded over the stove handle. The coffee and tea kettles are Chris and Bond purchase pieces painted with acrylic paints. Sticker leftover bits were added to the coffee front. The tea kettle handle was removed and replaced with a 24 gauge wire, two seed beads with a two bead in between, then drilled three holes for the wire handles, one for the lid, and added a black round top straight pin, glued the parts. 
I really liked this retro stove kit by Bentley House Minis. It took me about five hours over three days to complete, and I enjoyed the assembly process. Thank you so much for watching.